If you've ever played bridge mode in Full Honor, you have most likely encountered a giant man praying all by himself somewhere in the map. He's called the Guardian. But who's the Guardian? Why is he there and what does he want? Should we fight and kill him or should we just pass by? If you want to know the answer of these questions, please stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you right away. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. My name is Faribors and this is my YouTube channel. So each map in Breach Mode in Full Honor has got an overpowered character called the Guardian. The Guardian's appearance differs based on the map we are playing in. For example, if we are playing in the Walled City, we will get a Night Guardian or if we are playing in the Hallowed Bastion, we will get a Viking Guardian. So they differ in look but not in function. The rules are all the same about them. In order to learn how we need to treat the Guardian, first we need to know who he is, why he is there and what he can do. According to the game's wiki, guardians are seasoned and elite warriors from all factions gathered together and formed a religious order which is loyal to no faction. All they care about is conveying their religious message and to spread it, they are sent to castles and fortresses. That's the reason you always find them kneeling and praying before a boost shrine or a kind of bluish fire once approaching them. And that is what they are guarding. As mentioned, they are not loyal to anyone but their own order, so they will immediately attack anyone getting close to the shrine even if you are defending the castle against attackers. After the first gate is destroyed, you've got to wait 2 minutes and 30 seconds for the guardian to spawn. Then you can find him in a side room across from the capturable points. In other words, look for lonely places far from the crowd, you stand a high chance to find him this way. If the opponent team has killed him and you still want to kill him, please note that he will respawn 2 minutes and 30 seconds after being killed. Well, killing the guardian is going to award you with some buffs. Number one, you will heal to the max immediately. Number two, you will instantly get into the revenge boat. Number three, you will get a 100% shield. Number four, you will get infinite stamina for a period of two minutes. Number five, you can hit the parkman with 1000% damage increase. Number 6, you will take 50% less damage from the parkman. Number 7, you will get an awesome eye effect which indicates your coolness and badlessness. So I see that is pretty dope right? You will get crazy boost and you will be able to rule the world with those powers won't you? Wrong 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 No you won't, you are wrong, let me ruin your day. Number 8, all those fancy fancy buffs are gone as soon as you die. Yes, that can be as crazy as that. So with all these being said, is killing the guardian worth it? <laughs> Good question Aguada. Well, I see someone is asking the real question eventually. Well, before answering this, I need to point out that what you are about to hear is merely my personal idea and it doesn't necessarily mean I am right. I could be wrong and if you guys believe so, you are welcome to share your opinion with me in the comments. I personally believe killing the guardian is not worth it unless you are 90% certain about your victory. Well, as you know, Breach Mode is a strategic game mode and you need to play as a team to win. And two of the main factors you need to consider is timing and duty or responsibility portion. This means each teammate needs to be in a particular place in a particular time, but killing the guardian is going to challenge that teamwork. 
Like I said, the Guardians are elite and overpowered individuals. It means killing them is going to consume more time and energy than the normal heroes. So you've got two options in front of you. Option one, killing the Guardian by one player solely. That strategy has got two problems. The first problem is that it's going to consume a lot of time. I know there are some players that claim they can kill the Guardian fast by driving him out of his area and stuff, but even the fastest way is going to waste a considerable amount of time which can be used to help your team. And that can apply if someone from the enemy team is not trying to kill the Guardian as well. That way, you've got another time taking problem. And the second problem with that strategy is that only the players in the area will get the buff, not everyone in the team standing anywhere in the map. In other words, whoever fights him will get the reward. Option 2. Killing the Guardian with other teammates Well, considering what I just said, I think you can already guess what I'm going to say. You have got to leave the whole map and ram and gate and everything just to kill a harmless plain man so that you can get a temporary buff which will disappear upon death. Well, congratulations, you are most likely going to be defeated. I mean, yeah, your whole team can get power boost, but while you have been trying to kill the Guardian, the enemy team has taken a great step to defeat you. And at this point, I feel the edge to point out two more problems. First, the Guardian has a revenge meter and can be a real problem in 2v1s or more. And second, if someone from the opponent team is trying to mess up with you and him as well, you're gonna need even more time to deal with them. So to wrap it up, I believe going for the Guardian is not a wise choice unless you are solidly sure about your victory. Then you can look at it as an effort which adds more fun to the game. Otherwise, if you don't feel safe about your victory, then you better hold your hand. So these all being said, if you still think it's worth it killing the Guardian, then I wish you fortune, just go and try to have fun killing him. But let me give you a piece of advice. The breach mode may not be as popular as the Dominion, but it doesn't decrease its value. It's a strategic game mode in which coordination and cooperation play a significant role. So whatever you decide to do, being killing the Guardian or anything else, make sure you consult it with your teammates and don't act alone. Make sure everything is harmonized, otherwise you will be doomed by inconsistency. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. It was my personal opinion on killing the Guardian. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you've got anything to point out, kindly go down below and share it with me in the comment section. If you enjoyed my content, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much, take care of yourselves and stay safe.